My name is Manish Jain. I am a teaching professor here at Centre for Creative Learning, IIT Gandhinagar, and I am very happy to come uh, and talk to you about uh, uh, the work that we do with the students. Very interdisciplinary work that we do with students from all across, uh, and specifically with JKLU. So often, what happens, what we have seen, is that the education that we have, especially the engineering education, is focused so much on uh, things that the children sort of solve on a piece of paper that they get very little meaningful experience in terms of doing things with their own hand. You see, most of the learning happens when children fail. Right? The more you fail, the more you learn um, uh, how you know to make changes and then get to where you have to go. And so that's something that this lab thrives upon. We will look at things that children create with their own hands. They, uh, they understand the history, they understand the context and then they try to create things. So not just they learn how to make, but they also see why something needs to be done. For instance, this machine, which is the Enigma machine, which is uh, probably the only machine today in India. And we, it took us about a year uh, to make this machine. And this machine is the uh, reason why the first computer was invented. To break the code of this machine, uh, uh, you know, many people worked to uh, make a computer and uh, that ap apparently people claim that it ended the World War two years early and two million lives were saved. So that is what real engineering is. It's a computer science, mathematics and uh, mechanical engineering all built into this machine. So when somebody makes this, when somebody creates this with their own hands as a long project and you fail 50 times doing all of this, that's where your learning happens. So the private colleges in India are responsible for educating a huge fraction of our undergraduate population. The seats across even all the IITs combined, first, second, third generation, etc., are really, uh, really small. And that's just because of how finite resource allocation works. There's only um, so many places that can be opened up that have access to uh, these uh, very generous resources from the government. And because we have access to these resources, we are able to hopefully provide um, a standard of education that is um, that is truly world class. Greetings from the beautiful campus of IIT Gandhinagar, where more than 10 of our students have studied for one semester this year. In fact, many of them are still on the campus. We have this program for the last seven years, where we send our students to different IITs, triple IITs and abroad. The students do all kinds of interesting courses. They study with the, same, with the students of IITs. They stay in the same hostel. The same teachers teach them. And this changes their perspective. They become very confident. They are doing state-of-the-art courses. They are doing courses which smaller universities or even bigger universities, every university has its own strength. IITs have their own strength. And those kinds of courses are not possible in our university. When they come back to JKLU, not only they are confident, but they demand quality. They tell us about the best practices of IITs and we implement them, we follow them up. And therefore, not only their quality of education increases, but even students who have stayed back in JKLU, their quality improves. This is a wonderful uh, initiative of IIT Gandhinagar to kind of create a semester at IIT Gandhinagar program for students from other educational institutions. And this is something that I consider would add value to not only other institutions, but especially for IIT Gandhinagar students and the community uh, to be enriched by a diverse perspective from other institutions. The students from other institutions bring a uh, great value in terms of bringing different set of perspective to IIT Gandhinagar. Uh, they not only uh, actively participate in academic program, they also kind of participate um, in other initiatives of the institute, uh, they become part of the community. So we've had a steady stream of students coming in from JKLU. Typically they are on a semester or even a year-long exchange program, uh, which I think is a beautiful thing. It's a win-win because we get to see a wider variety of students it makes the classroom a little more diverse from our point of view and from their point of view they get to see a different campus there is a certain novelty to this experience they get to make a different set of friends so typically when we grow up and we look back we have um, 
different cohorts of friends from school, from college, from graduate school and so on. And it's really nice that with the Visiting Students program because there's a fairly deep integration. They're not here just for a few days or a few weeks. They're here for a whole semester and sometimes even a whole year. They really have a chance to build uh, deep connections with the students here as well as from other colleges who are under similar programs. So they're really widening their cohort of friends from college days. I think that's an important um, uh, that's an important consequence for them. Apart from the fact that they get to see uh, the infrastructure here, they get to experience the coursework here, project opportunities. It's like a whole new world opens up for the students who visit us relative to the college that they're staying at. So in some sense, they're getting the best of both worlds. They're at their home college as well as with us. So I think this Visiting Students program is a very positive program. It allows the students from JQLU to visit us, spend a semester, importantly get credits for the same. For us, we see a new set of students with their different expectations, with a different curriculum that they've been exposed to. It's a very exciting program. I think it's a win-win. I would say that the quality of students from JQLU has been very good. I found them to be very diligent. Most importantly, they've been very eager to make the most of the opportunity found them to be very regular in the courses, doing very well across the different aspects, including the practical as well as the theoretical aspects of the courses. But I would again re-emphasize the most important point, they were very eager to learn and make the most of the opportunity. We are very thankful to IIT Gandhinagar and all other IITs to allow our students to study for one semester, two semesters sometimes, all the faculty of computer science department who, who take this overload of our students. This is really helping students achieve what they dream of when they thought of doing engineering.